Hey everyone, welcome to Mutual Design. My name is Ayana Gomez and as always to my subscribers, welcome back guys. On this channel, I love sharing with you guys budget-friendly ways you can add unique pieces to your closet. And you can do that either from thrifted clothing, clothing you pull off of sales wrap, or using non-conventional items that you may not necessarily look at to create new clothing or accessory pieces. In today's video, I want to show you guys how you can take an old curtain, right? So this was a curtain my mom had lying around. It is pretty old because there are some stains um, all over this. <laughs> so obviously it's not going to go up again. But um, I want to show you guys how you can take a curtain and you can actually substitute it for fabric that you normally go and get from your local uh, fabric stores. So if you're unable to go to your fabric store, be it that your on current lockdown states <laughs> or you don't have the budget to your disposal to go to the fabric store and buy the necessary fabric needed you can always rummage through your curtain stash and pull out curtains that you know you no longer want be it because they're stained or you have no intentions of using it again and you can use that as actual fabric well because it's fabric you can use that to create a new piece so with all that said, let's get into it. Okay, so this is the dress I want to make. I am not an artist, but you get the idea from the sketch. So this is it here, right? It goes under the bust. The buttons start under the bust. And I'll be doing this tie knot effect. I love going to the tie knot effect for the bust area because one it just looks cute two it's an easy design to execute and my straps for my bust support and as you can see it's a little long and the buttons don't go all the way down i'm actually leaving that little opening there at the end and this is just my little notes i'm also going to be using this pre-existing dress um I refashioned this or upcycled this from one of my grandmother's skirts that I got from her closet. Right? So if you want to see how I made this dress out of a skirt, you can follow the link above and see how to make yourself a really cute dress. This dress was pretty cute. <laughs> anyway. So I'll be using this because this actually goes, it starts from under my bust, the flare of the dress starts from under my bust, so I know it gives me an ideal fit from there, and I also know that I can use this to get the measurements needed for the skirt area, alright? So the easiest thing to do is use a skirt doesn't necessarily have to be a dress you can use a skirt to get that flare effect so you can draw that pattern out onto your fabric first thing you want to do is fold your curtain in half and you want to work on the wrong side now for this I want you to just take one measurement and that's your under bust measurement so basically you're taking that measurement right under your bust. You just want to make sure you're a little accurate as possible. So just take your measuring tape and go right underneath your bust and take that measurement. For me, my under bust measurement was 38. I'm going to add an additional two inches to that to give me some allowances. And I'm just going to take my tape measure and from the fold of my curtain on the fold of my curtain I'm going to measure out 20 and then I'm going to mark that off with my chalk right so I have that 20 mark right there I'm now going to take my dress and you're gonna fold your dress or your skirt whatever you're using 
and you're going to fold that in half and you're going to take the fold of the dress and line it up line it up with the fold of your curtain start you see right where the flare of your dress or your skirt begins line that up with the top of your curtain so just go ahead line up those folds take your chalk and just follow through the full length this is short this is not where i'm going up to so i'm just gonna continue going down Now, the thing is, again, I need to go up to my point. So I'm gonna go at my point and I'm just going to start following how that flare looks. See, I'm going out and this is how it is. And I'm just going to go all the way So I'm going to let this side be the side with the button holes and what I'm going to do is create a nice, that was the whole purpose of having extra, give that, fold it, take my pins, So remember with buttons you need to overlap. That was the reason for all the extra. I know it doesn't look like much now people, don't worry, don't worry, you're gonna get there, we're gonna get there. Okay, so this is gonna be the side with my buttons. So we're gonna lay out buttons first. So my first button is gonna start here. off and we're gonna start measuring off and I'm going to go let me see how this is going I'm gonna go the three and a half inches so much of fact I'm gonna go three inches so I'm just marking off three And I'm just gonna keep doing this until I reach all the way down. fabric from the curtain I'm 
just gonna fold this in half. Right? There we go. So I'm folding it in half. And I'm simply going to let the folded egg be the top of I at the bottom at the top here. Yeah? Now obviously this isn't going to be the length. We're gonna shorten this. So get your chalk close at hand. Right? Just pull this to be as even as possible. Okay. So right now I'm gonna just take my chalk. So this is my bust right here from the top here to there. And I'm going to go down from this point. I'm gonna go down from this point one and a half inches. So I'm just marking this so I would know I have to go down one and a half inches from this point because I wanna make sure I have enough material to attach to the skirt aspects of the dress when it's time to connect and make one full dress. Now the next thing I wanna mark off is for the bust. Now, after cutting the length that I need for the top, I also want to cut that coverage. So in other words, when it's time, I want to be able to gather this and then add my piece to tie at the top. So I want to make sure that I'm covering my bust. So what I want you to do is just gather that excess material in front of you and see where your cup is. So for instance, right here, this right here will cover my bust. So I'm just gonna draw a mark there. And same thing for here, where you have gathered, look at where it covers the bust because you want to have bust coverage. And where you're seeing that, hey, it's covering my bust and you're comfortable with the coverage, just take your chalk and just mark there. Okay. All right, the first thing I want to do is come down from that mark I made showing me where under my bust will be. So I'm going to take my ruler, place it by the mark, and then I'm going to go down that one and a half inches right there. Now remember the marks we made for the bust coverage. This is mine right here. So what I'm going to do is take my ruler and just draw a line from the top of my fold here and go down to meet the mark that I went down one and a half inches for. I'm going to simply take my ruler and also gradually start drawing a line going across. Now I'm going to keep pulling this until I identify my other bust mark. And my other bust mark is right here. So again, I'm going to take my ruler, place it on the edge, and I'm going to draw a line going down. And I'm going to connect this line all the way to the ends there.
I'm just gonna show you the effect. So this is it right here. This is my top. And the next step to this would be attaching it to the skirt and adding the tie pieces onto the edge of this. So you get that nice gathered bus effect at the front. So let's first pin this onto the skirt. So here's my skirt. I just buttoned the first few buttons. And what I'm going to do is start attaching. What you want to do is turn, is fold your piece in half and identify the top and bottom midpoints. I don't need to identify the midpoint for the top, I need to identify the midpoint for the bottom only, sorry about that. So I'm just identifying the midpoint and I'm going to mark that midpoint out there on that side and this side. And I already know my midpoint for the back, so I'm going to line up those two midpoint areas. So this is my back midpoint and this is the midpoint for the top. Now you're not going to go all the way to the front with your top because remember this has to cover your bust area so you don't want to go and interfere. If you attach it all the way to the front, you're not going to be able to tie the front of the top. So you need to stop up to a point and that's how you would attach the top aspect. Once I've done that, I'm gonna fold in my raw edges that has not been attached to the skirts, right? Now let's use this scrap again, the remaining material, to get the straps, our shoulder straps, and the tie straps for the front of the top. Let's attach our tie strap to the top. So this is the raw edge of the area that will be covering the bus. This is the tie strap. As you can see, they're very different in width. <laughs> so the goal here is to gather the top area and let it fit the tie strap. So here's my completed dress and I'm just going to do some little 
tie-dye work on it to give it a fresh new look so I have my three tie-dye colors and my bowl with hot salt water to help the particular dye take the fabric properly so let's go That's it for now guys, till next time, deuces.